Greetings, this is Jeffrey Adams, and this is a tutorial for the math department at the University of Maryland on setting up the grade book in Canvas. So the main Canvas login page is umd.instructure.com, and you'll log in with your Maryland login credentials, and you'll be taken to a page which looks something like this, and your courses will be found up here. I'll, I'm going to give you a quick look at my linear algebra course from the fall because that has a lot of content in it and then I'll show you how to set up the gradebook. So here's the main page for that course which has various inf standard information in it about the course and there are various other pages which I created over here so for example I have a page of miscellaneous files where I posted links to things like homework problem solutions and exams and so on. Uh, here's the page where I was posting the videos which I was creating for the class. And let's go look at the assignments. This is one of the main things I'm going to be looking at. So over here you can see that I have four assignment groups in this class, homework, tests, daily quizzes, and final. And over here you can see uh, a number of homeworks. Uh, there were two tests. Here's the quiz total and here's the final. And now let's go look at the grade book. So here's the grade book. I've hidden the student names. Um, here you can see are all of the one column for each of the homeworks and the grades have been entered. And if we scroll to the right we'll see uh, following that is the tests the quiz total, um, which I just I had entered just a single quiz total from the clicker quizzes I was giving, the final, and here are the summaries, the summaries of homework tests, quizzes, the final, and a final total for the course. So that's the usual thing you would expect to find in the gradebook. Now let's go uh, start over and see how you set this up in the first place. For that, let's go to my graduate Lee Groups course where I'm not actually using Canvas. So here's the Canvas site for Math 744. I've added no content to it, and this course is unpublished, meaning it's not visible to the students. The first thing we should do is go look at the gradebook. Here's what the gradebook has. It's essentially empty. It has a list of the students. I've hidden the names and um, this column of assignments and the totals and there's essentially nothing here and many people are confused because you can't add anything here and the reason is that you need to go first to the assignments page so let's go back to the main page and click here on this grayed out button assignments okay so this is the first page you're going to want to go to to set up your gradebook over here it says add assignment and add assignment group so assignments come in groups and the first thing you need to do is set up your assignment groups and the assignment groups are things like quizzes and homeworks and so on so let's create a few assignment groups let's make the first assignment group homework and there are various other things I can do for example setting some percentages and adding grading rules but I don't need to do any of that. So let's just add this group called Homework. And now you see it appears as a group here. And we'll add a few more groups. Let's add Quizzes. And let's add uh, Tests. And let's add a Final. Okay, so here I now have these items appearing in the uh, over here in a list. Now this assignments is the default which is provided by uh, Canvas. I don't really want that so I'm going to go up here and now you'll notice this is something that happens various places in Canvas. There are some hidden buttons which you don't see until you put the cursor in the right place but if you do you'll see a button where you can delete the assignments. So let's do that. I'm I don't want those. So now I have my four things, final tests, quizzes, and homework. And the default is that they're each count for zero. So let's go in and put some weights here. Let's say the final is 40% and the tests are 40%. 
and the quizzes are 10% and the homework is 10%. So now I've set up the basic superstructure for the gradebook. Uh, one thing I'll point out is that uh, this box here is checked which means that we're going to have different groups with different percentages. If you don't want to do it that way, you uh, uncheck this box, and now each assignment will simply have a total number of points, and there will be just a grand total across all of the categories. But let's use this weighting scheme. And let's go look a little more closely here. So homework, for example, um, I can click on the pencil to edit it. There's my 10% of the total grade. I can add a grading rule. So let's drop the lowest number of homeworks. Let's make that three. And OK, let's update that. I'm kind of annoyed about the order of these items. So let's fix that. Let's make homework first. Quizzes second, tests, and final. Okay, so now the next thing to do, we have these four categories set up. None of them have any assignments yet. So let's add an assignment. You can either, you can do that over here, for example. You decide where you want to add the assignment to. So let's add an assignment to homework. So there's homework one. Let's make that due on the fourth. And let's have it be 10 points. And for all for now, that's enough. And let's also add a quiz. So another way that you can add is by clicking on this plus button right here. Let's add quiz one, which we'll make due on the sixth. And have that be five points. There we go. OK, so now. We have four categories. In two of them, I've added an item. So now let's go and look and see what the gradebook looks like. Before we go back and look at the gradebook, let's do one last thing. I created homework one, but there's nothing there. So let's actually do something with it. Let's edit it by clicking on the pencil. And we get these items that we saw before. And let's click on More Options. And that brings up this page. So this is the the homework one page, which is a page on the website, and where I actually am going to put what this homework is. It's chapter one, uh, numbers one through ten. So this is just a, pl a page which is going to appear on the website. It's not electronic or anything like that. And down here, there are a number of other options uh, about this assignment. Most of these you're probably going to ignore. Um, one that you might want to look at is this no submission. Um, if this was some sort of online submission, you would click this. And on paper is another option. Um, several other options here, but um, I just want to point out the existence of them. Let's not look at them right now. Let's just update the assignments. OK, so now when the students go to look at homework one, um, this is what they'll see. So here is what the gradebook looks like now. We have our four categories here, and these are totals categories. And we have a column for homework one, which I'd entered, and a column for quiz one. So let's say that it's time to enter the grades on homework one. Now, there's one thing that's not obvious that you should do, which is right here. So notice that when you put the cursor up in this box, this extra little triangle appears. And if you click on that, you get some things. Assignment details, ignore speed grader, don't worry about messages, uh, don't worry about set default grade. What I want to point out here is mute assignment. Uh, what this will do is when you enter grades, the students get them in a message. And you don't want the message to go out right away, so you mute the assignment. So you can go ahead and put in all of the grades, and then when you're done, unmute it. So let's mute the assignment. And now go and enter the grades for each of the students. So you just go down through the column and enter the grades.
and now you've entered the grades for quiz one. Excuse me, homework one. So there's homework one. Notice here's the grand total on the homework. Here's the grand total for the course, and so on. Now go up here and click on this again. Um, if you look at assignment details, you see the average score, the high and low, and there were 19 submissions. And if you go up here and unmute the assignment, then at some point uh, a message would go out to the students about it. I don't want to do that because this isn't a real course anyway, so let's not do that. But in a real course you would. And now you're basically on your way. Um, every time you need to add an assignment, you'll be doing that in assignments. And then when you want to look at the grade sheets, you, you um, come to the grades. Now, another thing that you might sometimes want to do is look under here. At some point, it might be helpful to download the scores or upload scores. So download scores, we'll download them in a CSV, that's a comma-separated uh, file, which you can then read into Excel. There are a few other options up here that you might be interested in. So, for example, treat ungraded as zeros and so on. But for now, I think that's enough. That should give you enough to get started um, with the gradebooks in Canvas. Hope this was helpful.